Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about K2 Power Boats. Um, David Kim asked me about this uh, this brand on a live the other day, and I figured I would I would do a little bit of a dive on it and share what I discovered. Uh, the first thing I do is when I'm looking at a, a new brand I'm not aware of, and there's so many, especially in the center console market, some of the regional brands that are out there, K2 being one of them down in Alabama, they make a step tall center console uh, from 18 to 28 feet. You can see um, the, one of the first things I do is just kind of look at their website, Google their name, see what uh, reviews are out there. And it's a smaller manufacturer. They only have a handful of dealers. You can see them here, mainly in the um, Florida and the Carolinas and Alabama. Now, what that tells me is the resale value outside of that area um, maybe a little tougher because it's an unknown brand. If the brand in the region that you're boating is known, um, then that won't be an issue. But if it sometimes those unknown or less popular brands can be more difficult to sell because on the used market, they don't have that dealer saying, Hey, we can support you. Um, and there's, is this a good brand? Is it not a good brand? And, and you'll see as I, as I go through this website, how difficult it is to tell if you don't know how to inspect the boat and you don't have the boat in front of you. So their models, 18 to 28 feet. They've got a 28 is coming soon. Their 23 is just starting per, I know it's the 22 CRX is just starting production. Um, if you go to their, their YouTube channel, they don't have much. They pop a few boats out of the mold. They have a few promo reels that, you know, don't really tell you anything. It looks like a center console running down the, um, running down the lake. Uh, go to their Facebook page and, and sort of check them out there. They've got 1,500 followers, um, 1,400 likes. I like to go through the pictures and see, hey, w what can I see about the boat, the hardware? Looks like they've got a custom uh, grab bar there. They probably fabricate their own T-tops by the looks of this one. They probably make their own uh, upholstery by the way I'm seeing their their seating. Um, they do have a, a couple of, of nice seating features with the, the backrest up in the bow on some of their larger models uh, that I, I liked. I really do like the lines of this boat. I think it's a really sharp looking boat. I, I, can, I can just sort of tell that it's a it's a well made boat. You just there's a few things that you can look at and see uh, that it's it's pretty well made, but without actually opening hatches and and feeling how things close and how they match up, uh, looking up under some of the things, looking at the wiring, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, this is I'm not a big fan of the splatter. Uh, it, what that tells me is that it's it's easier to clean maybe it's just an option on this one boat that i was seeing uh, but it's designed sort of to hide blemishes and to hide dirt and stuff like that not what i think about when i think of a, a premium type brand that uh, you want you know that you want uh, shining although if you're fishing it a bunch and uh, you just want ease of cleaning and to look nice okay so, uh, and this this was the only boat that I noticed that on was that 18 CRS, and, and it may have just been that particular boat itself that they custom did that for the client because that's what they wanted. Um, so, if you go through, you've got stainless steel fittings, which is great. They've got pretty good hardware from what I can see. You know, when I do my inspections at a boat show, I take really close-up pictures of the hardware and the screws and the nuts and the washers and stuff that they use because those are the differences between premium and um, and value and mid-tier. Nice stainless steel there. Um, it looks like the hinges and everything are, are pretty nice. Um, the other thing I think about when you're talking about a brand that isn't mass produced is, hey, if I need something down the line, are they going to be around to provide that part or the service that I need? And these guys have been building boats, it looks like, for 40 some years, I think I read. Um, let's see. They, they don't give you a whole lot. When you're when you're searching the history, they don't give you a whole lot. They don't name the the name of the family. Just that it's been three generations and counting that they've been building boats. So they've been building boats for a long time, but it's these smaller players that it's been more difficult in the pandemic uh, because the the big guys that have the huge contracts with the resin providers, with the seat cushion providers, with the aluminum providers, with the motor manufacturers the big guys are getting the motors first. The big guys are getting the resin in higher quantities. Um, so, you know, it's it, just because they've been around for three generations doesn't mean they're, they're going to stick around. Also, sometimes when people retire, 
the next generation doesn't want to come along for the ride. It, it looks like this may be a father daughter um, and she looks like the younger generation. So hopefully she's involved a hundred percent and um, it may be this Amy Kirkland that is on the, um, on, on the uh, YouTube channel. And she is the one that is, is stepping up. There were a few nice comments about her and some of the Facebook posts. So overall, it looks to me like a well-built boat. Um, the making sure that you have a dealer in the area is key. The other thing that I looked at just out of curiosity, because finding good labor can be difficult. And I noticed that their, their lamination was starting at $12 an hour. Now in my area, I don't know exactly in Dothan, Alabama, what it's like, but in my area, they're got signs up saying 16, $18 an hour to work at Kentucky fried chicken and, and uh, Chick-fil-A. So are, are they getting high quality skilled labor down there? Maybe the market's different and $12 an hour is, is still a pretty good um, rate for somebody uh, doing this type of work. But I, I thought that was, that jumped out at me. That may have been old. I don't know. But uh, that looked like the only position that they were hiring is for that uh, fiberglass laminator um, and looking for a year of, of experience in that. Okay, 12 to $21 an hour. So that's that's a little bit better to pay to pay what the market needs. So anyway, David, that's what I could find. Not a lot of information. Unfortunately, these smaller manufacturers, you know, they build a lot of models for, for the, the number of boats that they build. So they probably only build less than 10 each, um, if that, especially when you look at the bigger ones and they just don't give you a lot of details online. But, um, but again, I, I liked what I saw so far. There's nothing that jumped out at me. And I know you were specifically looking at the 22 CRX, which is the new model coming out. And they, they had this single picture and they had one, they had one short little video of, of that first hole being popped out of the mold. So um, not a lot I can add there. So anyway, hope this was valuable. And uh, remember, life truly is better on the boat. Oh, by the way, if you are looking to buy a boat, grab the Boat Buyers Toolkit. Um, it's a free resource we offer. You can get it at um, uh, the website, or you can just go to BoatBuyersToolkit.com. You can grab a free copy there. If you're buying one of these newer manufacturers that is lesser known, it, it's not... Um, a sportsman or a Key West or a Sea Hunt or a Sea Pro or where there's a lot more information out there, a lot more reviews. I've actually inspected the boats. Go through the website, but use that toolkit to keep you on track and make sure you you do a full sea trial uh, because there's virtually zero automation in these smaller builders. Uh, they're doing them all by hand, which on one hand, if they're diligent, if they're detailed, is awesome. On the other hand, if they've got a, a new fiberglass guy and the lamination scheduling gets off a little bit, it can cause some problems. So those are my thoughts. Thanks a lot. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.